Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome to our Let's Play of The Wolf Among Us. And this kind of came out of nowhere for me. Is uh, I didn't even know this game was coming out, but uh, I started hearing rumblings about it uh, a day ago or a couple days ago when everybody was saying how fantastic it was and that it was made by the same guys who made the Walking Dead games. And it's got like the same style and it's got a cool story and everything like that. I'm like, huh? Hmm, well, that sounds intriguing to me, and then I learned about the premise of the game, and it sounded even more intriguing. So, one thing led to another, and I ended up buying the game, and I figured, hey, we did a Let's Play of The Walking Dead, and uh, those were groovy Let's Plays, in this man's opinion. So, why not just take the next logical extension, and do a Let's Play of The Wolf Among Us, and we'll see how the two stack up. So, with all that being said, let's jump right into it. Of course, this is the first episode of a multi-episode series, which is sort of, sort of a Telltale's M.O. Yes, got it. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale, fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magical spell called Glamour, they protected... Their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Big B Wolf protects them from each other. Rule five today again if you missed it. A record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. That humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> But I remember uh, someone was trying to explain the concept of this game to me, and it sounded like they were on some sort of uh, mentally. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mentally uh, or cognitively altering substance. See, we try to be as PC possible here on you know, Joseph Salen's Let's Plays. And the irony in that to me is awesome. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate. I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. That's a low blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. <laughs> this is the last straw, Bigby. He has to go. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. 
When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. <laughs> Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Like how he just puts the cigarette out on the floor. Furry prick got shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside! Well, who knew that Toes were such terrible fathers? You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Let's go! Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. God damn you! you know who whoa, I am whoa, now? Whoa, 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 hey, you. hey! You've got something on your face. The fuck are you talking about, you stupid... <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Gotta calm down. What the hell? What is going on? Okay, well I think we may have encountered some sort of game-breaking glitch. Which is really a shame. Because I was really getting into that. Um, so we'll be right back. Okay, well it looks like it picks up right off the point where we left off because I don't remember him grabbing the axe. Probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucker. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. 
You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> By all means, take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Toad, you need to get off the street. You don't have your glamour. Apologies for smashing your car, Toad. I'm gutted for you, mate. It's a real shame. But that's not you, is it? Got to play the old man role. <sighs> Some things are more important than your car. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be- I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Guy's having a bad day. That makes two of us. Of course, I've got a letter. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. These lips are sealed. Sorry.
Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where you I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Wow, what an intro. I'm sucked in already. It's like what what a bizarre concept this is. And uh thus far they're making it out making it out to uh, work pretty well. I like how the soundtrack sounds like a 80s movie, or sound, from, something from like a 80s movie intro. So, from what I understand, this is like based on a comic. Um, just like, like obviously The Walking Dead was, that this is based off uh, another comic, I think called Fables or something. But yeah, trying to explain this game to other people is a nightmare. Well, you see, you play as the big bad wolf. But you're not really the big bad wolf. You're like the sheriff of New York. And there's all these other fairy tale characters, but most of them don't look like fairy, ta fairy tale characters because they're human and they have this magical spell that makes them not look human. And they all want to kill each other. You have to stop them from killing each other. Oh, there you go. Fables created by Bill Willingham. Sometimes be a disciplinarian.
There's no walking on the grass, no White's orders. She made a sign and everything. Well, when you make a sign, you gotta follow orders. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Big B. It's a suit of armor. Why can't you need to dust this guy? I know I've said it before, and I, I I'll say it again. But my favorite thing always about adventure games is when you go over where there's an option to go over audit, over obvious items and examine them, and then your character just hey, you wink. He just reiterates what they are. Probably for the best. I think my favorite example of that ever comes from uh, the fourth Escape from Monkey Island. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the fourth in installment in the Monkey Island series it was the first 3D one. And uh, there's a duck, and Guybrush walks over it, and he go goes, "Yep, just an ordinary, average, everyday duck," and then uh, walks away. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. I don't really want to do that. Damn thing fell off again. <clears throat> How much longer is this going to go on? Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Uh, I haven't seen her. Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Yeah, not my problem. Goodbye. Everything in this world so dirty and depressing.
a smaller one. Pretty sure Huff and Puff are cigarettes. That's what my buddy does. He puts either his cigarettes in the freezer or the fridge. Apparently, it keeps them fresh. I wouldn't know. I don't smoke. Damn it. Don't just put it back in. Fill it up with more water. Oh crap, I wanted to check my audio levels. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Everything's good. Fortunately, there's no real way to, to remember ordering that. Probably a bad tell story. what the audio levels of, of a video are like without having to stop and actually listen to the recordings that you've just done. And then adjust accordingly. But you get pretty good at uh, sure. knowing. When things are good and when things are not so good, but of course, you can't always be perfect. Hey, there's a pig in my house. Use him. Oh, hey, Big B. Of course, the pig talks. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. Got a smoke? Don't wait, what? Jesus, is everybody in this world smoke? Even the fucking pig smoke. Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? You're putting all of Fable Town at risk. Lectured by the Big Bad Wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Yeah, I don't have to give you a secret. Also, in my defense, you're a fucking pig. So, I'm assuming that the house you built out of four hooves would have just fallen down on its own anyway. I just hastened the process. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Hmm. <laughs> Probably. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I don't need advice from a pig right now. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> or eat the messenger. Whatever it is you do. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. 
That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Hey, she appreciated it. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. What is I know you like to? this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Oh. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. I, everyone swears, speak, smokes, and drinks. This is so surreal, man. I love it. There's a pig smoking a cigarette. Your argument is invalid.